The first season of The Last of Us is coming to an end, but the second season has already been confirmed. And yes, okay, it will show the closing of the story of the games. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you know how the second game ended? Did they manage to find a cure? Oh, before we start the video, I just want to let you guys know that there will be spoilers to The Last of Us story, okay? So if you don't want to see that, maybe go watch another Hey Nerd video. Now, come with me in this video. I'll tell you everything about the end of The Last of Us Part 2. Hey Nerd, what's up? I am Brano. The ending of the first game already answered one of the main questions, which is, did they manage to create a cure? Well, unfortunately not. Guys, Joel really killed the only doctor capable of performing surgery on Ellie. Only he could get the fungus out of her head and try to create a cure, but Joel literally just pumped him with bullets and threw the hope of humanity right out the window. After leaving the hospital, Joel and Ellie went back to live in Jackson, and we saw in the series that things there are much calmer than the quarantine zones. There was, you know, work, but nothing like being enslaved by Fedra. And there was food for everyone, you know? They, they were not having like a hard time to find food. They stayed there for five years, just working, killing an infector, you know, like here and there. Every now and then, a problem kind of um, arose. Like the cannibals trying to take revenge for David's death, you know, but, but nothing very really relevant. While they were in this good life, Abby came after Joe with rage in her eyes, you know, wanting to kill him to avenge her father, who was a doctor, which Joe shot. In the game, she didn't even take long to achieve this. In the first 30 minutes, she had already found him and ended his life, okay? Guys, this scene was a, a good punch in the stomach, really. Literally, no one could have ever prepared for this scene. It's still a very heavy scene. When Abby went to finish the job, Ellie was inside the house and she saw Abby giving Joe the last, the final blow. Well, uh, final blows. And Ellie couldn't do anything because Abby's friend were holding her down and after finishing Joe they knocked Ellie out and just took off. Now I'm guessing you can imagine what Ellie really decided to do right after she woke up. Well it's exactly what you thought. She wanted revenge against everyone responsible for Joe's death. She put herself up, gathered her things, you know a horse and went hunting them all. But she didn't go alone okay. She had Dina, the one that everyone thinks appeared in episode 6 went with her on this kind of suicide mission. Guys, think of a girl blind, literally blind for revenge. That was Ellie at that time. She did everything to get revenge. Killed infected, killed dog, killed a pregnant woman. And literally killed almost everyone responsible for Joe's death. She only left one of them alive. Can you imagine who it was? Yeah, it was, it was Abby. Now, how can this be? Ellie even killed a pregnant woman, but when it came to facing Abby, she couldn't do it. Abby is a really strong bull, okay? But even with the help of Dina, who was also pregnant, they couldn't kill Abby. But unlike Ellie, Abby didn't kill a pregnant woman, mainly because Lev asked Abby to leave them alive and only that's why they managed to get out of this fight breathing. There was only one problem though. Jesse, who is the father of Dina's child, was with them in that fight. Jesse had gone after them, you know, the two of them, to try to help them. He even helped a little, but when he ran into Abby, she didn't think twice before just putting one right in his head. He didn't even have time to see the movie of him, you know, of his life passing before his eyes. That's how fast Abby just finished him off. Now, what's left for Ellie and Dina to do? Well, go back to Jackson, race Dina's son, and forget about Abby. For a little while, they even managed to forget and put this revenge aside, you know, and start living on a farm raising sheep. Now, pay attention to this reference that the series showed. This was one of Joe's wishes, to live on a farm raising sheep, and Ellie ended up realizing. But those calm waters ended, unfortunately. Ellie still dreamed of Joe's death and still listened to his screams. She thought, really, there was no other choice, so she took some more resources and abandoned Dina and her son to go after Abby again. Now, crazy how she just gave up the perfect life she was having just to go after revenge again. But at this point in the game, she had already realized that it wasn't just revenge that she wanted, it was forgiveness. When she found out what Joe did at the hospital, she, she told him that she would never forgive him. For her, he had literally taken away the only purpose of her life and therefore didn't want to have a relationship with him anymore. To make matters even worse, the night before his death, they fought again as Joe tried to defend her from um, Seth's uh, prejudice attack. Some guy didn't really want to see Ellie and Dina kissing in his bar and started spewing no homophobic prejudice at them. When Joe saw this, he rose to defend his 
kind of daughter. But Ellie said she didn't need his help. Now guys, what do you think Ellie felt like? She was full of remorse. She ended up just not appreciating the time that she had with Joel and ended up letting him die without knowing if she had forgiven him or not. Only now, the one wanting forgiveness is her. So she went after Abby to seek for her forgiveness. Ellie had to go all the way to California to find Abby since she became a prisoner of the rattlesnakes on this uh, Santa Catalina Island, which I went there with my marine ecology class. It's a, it's a pretty island. Well, either way, and Ellie was just like Joe in the hospital. She was in this frenzy, crazy mode, just wanted to kill everyone. She killed all the rattlesnakes, left none of them literally to tell the story. Only Abby wasn't at their base. She had been left to die on the pillars on the beach. When Ellie found out about this, she went after Abby like a vulture literally in a carrier. And she started looking at every pillar on the beach to find Abby. She found her, but Abby was literally unrecognizable. She was thin, with her hair all cut and all messed up, you know? Even you would feel pity for her. But Ellie didn't. She took her off the pillar and called her for a 1v1. Except that Abby didn't want to fight. For her, the story was over a long time ago. She just wanted to get on the boat and just disappear from there with Lev. But Ellie wouldn't let her leave without first giving her a good thrashing, you know? But this time, Ellie was not gonna let her get out alive. And then the two of them started to get in this fight with teeth and nails, you know, and since Ellie was more physically well off, you know, she was getting the better of it. It looked like she was gonna win and kill Abby, except that Abby is just as badass as Ellie, and even weakened the stick figure that she was, she still got up and squared up. And in the moment, to escape Ellie's attack, Abby did the same as literally Goku. She bit Ellie and ripped off two of her fingers with it. It was only at that moment that Ellie had a vision of Joe. He was all, you know, all happy on the porch. He seemed to be waiting for her. Only then did she feel really forgiven. And, and then that's when she stopped fighting Abby and allowed her to leave with Lev. And this decision left a lot of fans really mad. They did not like that Ellie just literally let Abby go. But what she needed was not to kill her. It was to be able to forgive herself and understand that what happened to Joe was not her fault. And now she had to keep only the good times with him to try to overcome you know, all this pain that she went through. Don't worry, okay, this isn't the end yet, okay? Ellie went back to the farm where she lived with Dina, and guess what, guys? Ellie's biggest fear came true. In the series, she actually wrote down what her biggest fear was. And yes, guys, her fear of ending up alone came true, okay? She was alone in the world now, without Dina, without Jesse, and without Joel. And to top it all off, guys, of course, she just sat down to play some guitar, you know, to calm down and remember all the memories. But guess what? She couldn't. With her left hand missing two fingers, she can no longer do the only thing that still made her feel connected with Joe, since he was the only one who taught her how to play the guitar, you know? And now, one of the few memories of her with him is gone forever. Then, she leaves the farm, leaving us with this image of the guitar in the window, very similar to the scene in the third episode of the series when they left Billstown. And that same window scene kind of appeared. It's a pretty sad and melancholy scene, you know, showing that Ellie had to leave her whole old life you know behind and literally just start a new one all over again now i want to ask you a question leave down in the comments below if you think that they will change the story of the last of us in this series you think they'll have another ending to the story maybe well comment down below what's your theory maybe i'll make a video about it and now that i give you the content i'm gonna ask you for one thing click on this ball right here because it helps me so much really you will subscribe to the channel and you won't miss out on any of the videos oh and don't forget click on the little bell below because you will get notified for when my next video comes out I'll see you then. Peace.